stainless steel. Shalom. So gird up your loins and eat up your lambs. We're leaving the city, we're leaving no man. We're walking through water like splitting the sea. This is the vision that our fathers redeemed. Men of Elohim, led by Moshe. We cried with one voice and he heard us pray. He led us in the wilderness and gave us man about what did we do? We worshiped another. Shalom wise beings, so today is Yom Kamishi, day five, and today uh, is health day. I'm going to be talking about cooking with stainless steel. Basically, when I came into the truth, I was like, what am I putting into my body? And I wanted to know all the details of it. So from food to the medication that I was using to the natural herbs that I started using, I was like, what am I cooking on? So I was always cooking. This was actually as my uh, Adon and I, when we moved into our first apartment, I got a whole set of some non-stick because I was like, I know that it's easy to cook with, it's easy to clean, this is what I'm gonna get. Um, so I found out eventually, um, like I said, coming into the truth that non-stick was not the way to go. So it made me invest in stainless steel as well as cast iron with non-stick. As you can see, there's a bunch of scratches at the bottom. It's easily corrodes. It's very easy to clean, but it's easily to corrode. So this is what Teflon is made out of. Now these are some very long names I'm about to pronounce. It is perfluoroctanoic acid, or PFOA, and polyterafluoroethylene or PTFE. Notice, Teflon can cause flu-like symptoms and are dangerous to our body. Even fluorine is a component of Teflon, which we know at times fluoride is used in the water and it affects the penile gland. So it is a component and it was stated by this Dr. Ann right here. It's very toxic. It has been known to affect your kidneys and your bladder. It can affect the quality of the food. It breaks down easily. And the chemicals, uh, polymer, is it goes into the air. It creates fumes if you're cooking it over a certain temp. They say if it's over like 500 degrees, but I say why even, even risk that? If you know that you're gonna be cooking or frying some food, you do not wanna, wanna use this. So most of the time, I'm using this Ninja Crock Pot to simmer things down. Um, I am using it to slow cook things, and you just don't want it to reach above 500 degrees Fahrenheit is what they say, or 300 degrees Celsius. You don't want it to reach above that, because um, again, it will slowly release fumes. fumes. Call it polymer fume fever, and that is basically somebody which has inhaled the fumes from cooking with this. I try my best not to cook with that, and when I do, if I know that I'm cooking it with it this week, I detox from it. So the best type of detox is a water fast. This is in my opinion, I am no medical doctor. In my opinion, whenever I'm using something like this, I detox anywhere from three days to seven days. And that is either with a water fast or juicing or something where I'm just allowing my body to be in the rest and clear out whatever is in it. Don't wanna cook with aluminum because deposits from aluminum uh, basically can break down when you're cooking with it and it can deposit in your brain. It affects the penile gland and that's the first thing that, that uh, usually goes and it gets toxified. It, the heavy metals will be able to enter into your bloodstream, will be able to go into your liver, and your, your brain, it builds plaque and it causes dementia and Alzheimer's and that has actually been increasing in our city. You wanna make sure that you're detoxing um, again with aluminum foil three to seven days and that is with a water or a type of juicing fast something where your body is able to rest you're able to let your kidneys rest and you're able to do a heavy metal detox I also have uh, what is called a veggie defense which is a bunch of veggies and it helps to clear out heavy metals so that's something that you could definitely do cast iron so right here this big old pan right here this is great to cook with um, if you are using cast iron, you don't want to buy used cast iron because whatever you cook with, it basically stays in this pan. So it is non-stick, it is a heavy 
type of metal that you're using it's cast iron metal and basically um, this is really good with cooking with fire using that sukut and um, metals if you are cooking with metals the best ones are to get um, the best ones are to get is uh, silver so if you can get some silver this is not silver it's stainless steel it was a known fact that um, the soldiers in the war when they would get shot they say that they wore uh, silver coated type of underwear you know nano silver in line in the thread and everything and they would wear that so when they got shot the bullet will come in through it'll penetrate with some of the garment and it will help prevent infection so that was a cool fact right there um, copper is a really good one copper it corrodes a little bit easier than silver and um, stainless steel the known metal that helps with the conductivity of even our vital organs and our brain so it's a really good metal to use in the healthcare field we have clients that actually have copper sheets because it's so good for their body and it helps with like arthritis so those are just some other cooking um, tools and also you want to watch out for ceramic coated pans the reason why you want to watch out for ceramic coated pans though they don't have those other polymers that I mentioned with the Teflon uh, when you cook with them micro particles get released in the air in utensils you want to use bamboo silver or stainless steel right here. I'm going to let you guys know about cooking with stainless steel. So with stainless steel, it doesn't corrode as much like you guys saw again with the Teflon. It doesn't corrode. It's scratch resistant and it cleans up easily. Now I know at times like um, you're like, how does it clean up easy? Everything sticks to it. But basically, let it soak down really well. And you get you one of those copper pads and you can clean it up very nicely. I've had this for over three years. This is Wolfgang Puck brand. I had his for a very long time and I enjoy it. I put some links down in my uh, website article so you guys can check that one out. Um, basically, uh, it's, it has antimicrobial properties. So stainless steel is not scratched, so it's good for your health. It is very sturdy, it weighs a lot. It has a long-term value, like I just said, I had it for over three years. Um, as well as it helps preserve the flavor, it helps the food cook really well. It um, gives your like codfish or something, whatever you're cooking, a nice golden brown touch to it. Uh, some cons is the price because it does cost some, but if you invest in this product like once, you can have this type of material for an extremely long time. Then you will want to, like I said, uh, you can use stainless steel if you want to. I like to use bamboo in, into this, and you really don't want to use these because uh, you don't want to use these unless like you're scooping out some salad or scooping out a a large pudding dish or something you really don't want to use this on hot food because it melts and then you got plastic and then it'll go into your bloodstream and then it causes infertility it causes all sorts of issues when you're using plastic so um plastic you don't want to store in plastic or anything so um i'll talk more about that next time a wooden or a clay vessel you'll want to if it touched the unclean surface you'll want to destroy it so like I mentioned, something like a cast iron pot is very porous, so it would get into the system. You don't want to buy it used because, you know, if somebody was cooking with pork, then you buy that, you got pork. Um, so you want to make sure that you're, you're, you're keeping up with your body, your temple, and you're, you're getting things that is healthy for it. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment below if you guys have learned any information. Um, again, on www.hebrewma.com. To the article and it lists uh, where I got like the Wolfgang from. It has an Amazon link for some good uh, stainless steel. One that I just found. It's like $46. Shalom, shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all and them.
so I mean they is yum. Let me tell you guys a few pointers on cooking with so so cooking with something that they call telephone. <laughs> I know I said that wrong. Okay. So anyone who knows me knows that I love tacos and this is Say may I have your taco holder. Okay. There you go. Say thank you. Say toda. Okay. Now say thank you. Good job. Mwah.